since most of the atoms do not have full outer shells, only the noble gases do. They like to bond to other things, and in many cases, well, at least in several cases, they will bond to themselves. Remember the honk mnemonic, H-O-N-C, one, two, three, four? Well, consider two hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen likes to form one bond. The other hydrogen atom likes to form one bond. Perhaps it's no surprise that they will bond to themselves. To cut to the chase, memorize the uh, little ditty, the mnemonic, H. Broncliffe, to show that hydrogen, bromine, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, iodine, and fluorine are all diatomic. They like to bond to themselves given the opportunity. You might also recognize that these always end in G-E-N, hydrogen, or I-N-E, chlorine. It's genine. That helps you memorize it as well. Do not start writing things like H2O2, thinking that water has oxygen and oxygen bonds to itself. No, there's other things going to play there. This is only when they are alone. So bromine will combine with another bromine atom to share a valence electron. And at eight, this is true for all the halogens. Oxygen's interesting because it wants to form two bonds. Well, it can do that with itself if it forms a double bond. Practice drawing the circles if you need to to show the double bond and how each has eight valence electrons. Nitrogen can do the same also, but will form the extremely strong nitrogen to nitrogen triple bond. So strong that most organic chemists use this as an inert gas to prevent oxidation in the reaction mixture. So uh, these are the diatomic elements. And let's move on.